food chains by kscience.com. Food chains begin with organisms such as grass, plants and trees called producers, absorbing light energy from the sun. So the sun's energy is being transferred to producers on earth. These producers are plants. And these producers use the energy from the sun for photosynthesis, which produces the sugar glucose in plants. So photosynthesis is when carbon dioxide reacts with water using the light energy from the sun to produce oxygen as a byproduct and glucose, a sugar that the plant uses for respiration. And this reaction can only happen with the light energy from the sun. The next stage of a food chain is when a primary consumer will eat the producer. So energy is being transferred in the form of biomass from the grass into the rabbit and from the fruit of the trees into the birds. So the energy stored in the biomass is being transferred from the producer to the primary consumer. Primary consumers consume biomass and there is an energy transfer into them from the producer. The next transfer of biomass occurs between the primary consumer to the secondary consumer, whereby there is an energy transfer from the primary consumer into the secondary consumer when the secondary consumer eats the primary consumer. So in this case here, the fox eats the rabbit and consumes the biomass, which contains energy and allows the energy to be transferred into the fox. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. We are now going to draw a food chain. So energy from the sunlight is transferred to a plant for photosynthesis, whereby glucose is produced. And this glucose is used for respiration, but it's also used to make other biomass in the plant. So the primary consumer is going to eat the producer, whereby there is an energy transfer from the producer into the primary consumer. The primary consumer is going to consume the producer's biomass where the energy is stored. The secondary consumer will then eat the biomass of the primary consumer. The secondary consumer consumes the primary consumer's biomass. And the tertiary consumer, in this case a human, eats the bird and there is a transfer of energy from the bird to the human via the biomass of the bird. So what are trophic levels? Trophic levels are how far away an organism is from the beginning of a food chain. So in this case, the producer is going to be the first trophic level. So it's obvious what the primary consumer is going to be. The second trophic level. The secondary consumer, in this case the bird, well that's going to be the third trophic level. And the human, that's going to be the fourth trophic level. Which organisms are herbivores, carnivores, or both, omnivores. The primary consumer here, the caterpillar, only eats producers. So they only eat plants, so they are herbivores. The secondary consumer, in this case the bird, well it's eating an animal here, so it must be a carnivore, right? But what if this bird eats nuts or fruits or seeds? Well they are plant-based materials, so that would make the bird an omnivore. Both a herbivore and a carnivore, they eat both meat and plants. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow.
Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.